Hello and welcome to uh, maybe only the second training vlog of this year. I think it's training vlog number six. So um, in England, we're in lockdown right now. So these clips are from October, the week starting, some, I think it's October 24th, uh, up until we went into lockdown. So this is what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks. So we're starting off here with some safety bar squats. So I'm doing a set of eight reps. And then those, this should be around eight at RP8. And then once I've finished this set of eight reps, I rack it and I leave the same weight on the bar and I do cluster sets of four reps instead of this weight. So you can see me doing what I believe to be or should be a set of four. You never know, sometimes only five. Uh, yep, so sets of four with the same weight uh and i've just done several of those i think i did three or four on this day and that's what you're seeing here just sped up so this is just another way to get a little bit more volume in with potentially a heavier load on the bar than if i had gone down to rpe 7 or rpe 6 or rpe 5 or anything like that uh for eight reps but instead i've just left the same weight on the bar and it's much lower rpe because i'm only doing four um, i think some of them work out at four reps at RP4, but don't check me on that. Uh, so the next exercise on this day was low incline bench press. So as you can see, I'm potentially, my skin is almost as white as the sports bra, uh, but that's not entirely bad. We are in October into November now. So I'm expecting to look like the snowman by next month. Uh, I like the low incline bench. I don't really like the high incline because I find it feels very strange on my shoulders and it doesn't seem to improve, but the low incline is good with me. I've been doing quite a lot of low incline. Uh, so then I usually superset that with a bent over row just to save time. So I'm only in the gym for about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, so the bent over rows, I'm just doing a set of 10 to 12, aiming to get 12 at about RP8 but potentially RP9 if we're on to the last set. That's fine also. And then to finish it off this day, I had some accessory work. So the cable press down, you've probably seen me do a lot of cable press downs if you've watched any of the other videos. I just like these because I'm not limited by what I can hold with the rope. So it doesn't bother, it doesn't kind of incur any grip fatigue in the set that would limit how much weight I could press down. So I like the V-bar. I tend to do a lot of these. I usually do some variation of a tricep movement two or three times a week. Uh, and that's been working successfully to give me bigger arms, which is nice. And I usually superset that with a biceps move. Um, I don't particularly like this rope, but this was what was there and I was too lazy to change it to anything else. I don't really like the bar options that we have at this gym. So for curls, uh, for, well, the bar, attachment options at this gym so i've just been using the rope but yeah may change it and then i've been finishing up my sessions with rowing so i watched some cassie neiman i believe is the lady's name on youtube if you want to go and uh, google her she seems to be a rowing expert of some of some of some kind so i've watched a couple of her videos on rowing and i'm trying to implement her techniques uh, to become a little bit more of an efficient rower, seeing as this is something I've not really bothered with in the past, but now I'm suddenly interested in doing more of, so I've been rowing. Uh, so this is the next day here. I don't know which day of training this was. Maybe this was... Uh, I think this is day one. Yeah, this is the day one of the four sessions each week. This is the single, so work up to a single. I think it should be a one at seven, but it might end up being looking like one at eight. Yeah, kind of one at seven, one at eight, somewhere in between there. Looks all right. Didn't misgroove it. Uh, and then for the volume work following the single, I had eight reps. I've been doing eight reps at eight. And then I think I've been doing clusters of four with the same weight, either three or four clusters of four with this 40 kilo. Uh, so this is the eight reps at eight. Just trying to make sure that each rep looks similar and I'm not having any massive technique deviations rep to rep whilst trying to keep my butt for the most part on the bench. Yeah, they looked all right. Not too, not too shabby. 
Uh, so following the bench, I did the deadlift. I'm not sure whether I did this first or why it's so dark, but here we go. So this should be four reps at seven. Looks a bit more like four reps at eight. Uh, but maybe, maybe one day it will be four reps at seven if we carry on. So that was what I worked up to on deadlift and then I did some back ops. Uh, and then I finished up with some pull downs. Hunchback in action. Uh, I don't particularly like these. I, I really, really suck at any form of pulling down movement. Um, I don't really have an excuse other than potentially I could blame it on my anatomy. Uh, which I will probably do so at some point. But yeah, I've sped these up because no one wants to see this. I think it was like a set of 12 to 15. Uh, so day two, uh, squatting. Actually squatting. Sometimes I forget how bad this is and attempt to have a go at it again. Uh, so this should have been three reps at six. It doesn't look too bad, but in my head it felt a lot worse than it looks on video, as always. Yeah, it's fine, I didn't get out of position, but yeah, they just don't ever feel fantastic. I don't think I will for a while, and that's okay. There are other things I can do. Uh, so some more bench press. I believe this is supposed to be paused bench. I don't know what rep. There's supposed to be three reps at something, but I can't remember what it is because I've changed the programming now. Like three reps at seven? With a apparent pause. Even though it doesn't really look like it. Maybe it's like three at six or three at seven, something like that. And then that would have been followed by some volume work. Uh, so then moving on to the kind of accessory stuff, I've got some more bent over rows as I'm doing these twice a week. So this is the same protocol as what you saw in the previous video. I just do 10 to 12 and I keep trying to chip away at the reps whilst maintaining an RPE of around eight for most of the sets. It's okay if the last set is RPE nine. I usually do four sets of these twice a week. But they're working good. Seeing improvements. And some more press downs. So just depending on what kit I could get. If somebody else has got the easy curl bar, I tend to just use the cable machine and vice versa. Because it's not super important what I use, just that I do something for my triceps uh, most sessions. So just some more, some more uh, V-bar press downs. And then some more rowing. So I finished up, up with some more rowing. Technique seems to be improving, although not very much. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying the rowing and I'm feeling much better for having it in there now that I'm kind of feeling well enough to be rowing again or doing some, doing some cardio several times a week. So I'm excited for the lockdown to end. So hopefully I can go back on this rowing machine. Um, cool. So I think we're on to day three now. I started off with some RDLs, so these I'm just trying to use them for a little bit of extra muscle hypertrophy, potentially a little bit of movement practice but with a much lighter weight, so uh, I'm doing a set of 10 reps at 7 and then I think what I do is clusters of 5 reps with the same load, I think I did 4 clusters of 5 reps. Um, this is my blue Power Ranger outfit. It's very bright. Yep, so here's me walking around, just taking a quick break, something like 30 seconds or so in between these clusters. And then I just do five reps instead of the 10 at seven. So I don't know what this works out in RPE, probably like five RPE three <laughs> or RPE four potentially. But it doesn't particularly matter because the weight on the bar is uh, sufficient, sufficiently heavy enough such that I will get some stimulus out of it. Uh, but for a much lower fatigue cost compared to if I'd done something like five reps at eight. Mm. Yep, so I think that's it for the clusters. I'm sauntering off as, as I do. Uh, then I moved on to some low incline dumbbell bench press. So because we, are, we have jumps on the dumbbells here of like 2.5 kilo and it's quite difficult for me to just like 
whack another 2.5 kilo on each dumbbell and expect to get away with the same kind of rep scheme. I tend to just have a play with the incline. So if I'm too, I'm too good with like the 12.5s on the flat, then I'll go to an incline and then I'll just increase the incline with that weight so that I'm still getting a decent training stimulus without having to go up a dumbbell. So th those are the dumbbell bench for this week, just doing that once a week. Uh, and then you, what you can see me doing here is setting up kind of like a very janky looking belt squat using the rack. Um, what I'm doing is I found using this counterweight, I got this the counterweight idea from, I believe, Zach at Data, Data Driven Strength. Um, tried this out and this works a lot better with the counterweight so I can properly sit down into the movement and get more range of motion. So there's more movement happening around the knee joint such that I should get somewhat better quad hypertrophy from doing it this way than leaning my torso over more and only having kind of like a 90 degree angle happening at the knee joint. So would recommend. I've been doing these in lockdown with a plate rather than a kettlebell and I think the plate works a little bit better by kind of making a slot for it with the forearms and hugging the plate to the chest. But would recommend if you're looking for a way of uh, training your quads and you don't have a belt squat and you don't want to do any more back squatting. And then I think I just finished off this session with some more pull downs. As you can see here, very exciting. And I think that was it for this week in training. Uh, so thanks for watching.